Welcome to Dropping Decoding. This will be my first time ever going to make a video under this series. And I just felt like, you know what? I just need to spice something up. I'm sick and tired. Point shoot right front of the camera. So therefore, today will be the first time ever going to make a video just based on audio. So today, I volunteer as I usual. And today I came across with two corporate volunteers. And they are working in the uh, one of the big four banks in Australia. And we have a bit of talk about, you know, how I mind them working in the corporate world. Uh, you know, how difficulty level uh, professionalism within the industry. However, you know, we did talk about, like, what is going on with the industry as um, I'm already know of, um, you know, the banking industry or perhaps the corporate world is very, very highly, uh, you know, just just based on KPI and stats. And that's usually the case. And, you know, I, I told them a bit about what was my industry was like um, when I was working just based on the call center and how... You know the li the lifestyle was like, and we came to the point that you know, like how we talked about stats and KPIs, which is one of the most important thing. Also, they also stated that there's a new thing about where there's banks. Well, I only can speak on banks because that's what you know these guys have been telling me, and I really appreciate the information that they gave to me. Is that now the big four big banks in Australia is trying not only just um, they no longer strongly focus on the um, the stats and the business model and everything. Now they're trying to find their own identity. And when I think about own identity. I'm just there and saying, like, what the heck is going on? You know, last three, you know, the last time I've been in the corporate world, that will be uh, 2013. And you guys may know in 2018. And they've been telling me for the last three years, there's a massive shift within the uh, banking sector that now they are focusing on uh, identity as well. They're aware of a lots and lots and, uh, you know, they're aware of the mental health. Workers are burnt out uh, with this whole, uh, you know, KPIs and stats. And now they want to introduce with the identity. Now, speaking of identity, it, it kind of said to me, whoa, okay. I started to realise... Okay, now you guys are thinking about more of the workers' humanity side instead of focus, strictly focus on the business model. And for the, you know, the bank that they worked in, and one of them who works in for 10 years, and the other one, he didn't tell me how many years he's been working. But what he's been saying is that his bank is more focusing on the, um, at the moment, is the communication. And I was surprised. Because when I was working in the insurance, now I, I think, you know, I think insurance and banking, they are very, very strict as well. Um, like, you have to follow what the PDF and as well what's in the law states on the PDF and everything. But what they're trying to say is they're trying to have... Um, They've been telling me not only just KPI is matters in today's world, in their industry, but also their identity that they believe in is communication. So communication is part of the stats list as well, which I find it really, really fascinating. But I didn't get in-depth details with them asking you know how how deep we're talking about like how how is this kind of measure is a client you know make a, a feedback each course saying you know what do you think about this worker blah 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 is that one of the way to measure communication i don't know but what i can say to you guys to my listeners is whether i have any listeners or not is that i'm very, very excited to see how you know a business model is 
heavily influenced with the KPIs and everything. Now it's shifted towards to a, a more fair humanity approach and what matters to them. And you know, it's a very competitive environment. That's for sure uh, within those sectors. And it kind of got me thinking when I mentioned about you know, are you to them is are you afraid of AI or automation? Even though I don't know what's their job title um, within the bank, and they said you know they they kind of do because um, they're not sure how long is this gonna last for. And I have a bit of reflective think about it uh, when I got back home. Maybe now, you know, AI and automation uh, technology enables to get to um, workers to achieve their KPIs and stats. Maybe this whole identity thing is to create something more of a new dynamic way of grabbing interest from customer, not only just delivering good services, but also they stated a different um, like their interests as well and what they represent as well whether it could be diversity, whether it could be LGBT, whether it could be helping the farmers. These are the stuff that it jumps on top of my mind, but I think it's more of a humanity approach where saying that, well, for example, I support for this businesses because this businesses is, cares about my feelings, my frustration, more of a humanity approach. It's not like I'm talking to a robot or perhaps I'm talking to an uh, offshore call center and I think this whole new identity thing is a new way of grabbing competition uh, in the future because technology and AI wouldn't get to that stage but I'm just saying you know on top of my head maybe you know communication for this guy organization is look into it and while taking mental health very seriously where there's a flexibility work uh, within the industry where, which whether you want to work three days or a couple of days and they started to take notice because they don't want to keep losing um, good workers and what matters most for these um, these workers their minds their feelings how could you buy them to make them stay longer? You know, whether you, you work in a corporate world or, you know, I, like I said, I only experienced one month in my life in a corporate world. It's the, you know, working three days in the bank and maybe the rest of the days you work with some other jobs, it's not really that sustainable. But also, you know, it does open a lot of employment opportunities, people out there, where these organ, you know, where these banks or corporate businesses hiring more casual or part time instead of full time, where they realise the part time, full time, they see the fulfilment, enjoyment, and work. Um, and I kindly jokingly said to them, ah, maybe it's just one of the ways just to reduce the unemployment rate. <laughs> which they kind of understand what I'm trying to say. But my point is to think of how could you survive based on three days work? Technically, the good thing about if you work three days of work, obviously you'll be under the tax bracket where you don't you pay no taxes because you fall into that bracket and you have a second job. So, Like I said, I'm still juggling around to look at it, but all I can say is I really like this approach. Like usually banks, they're always, you know, stack staff comes and leaves and goes. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of like uh, turnovers, you know, you know, sack and rehire cheaper labor force, 
or perhaps rewards um, they try to you know reward their workers with with you know annually bonuses or weekly bonuses or rewards such as gifts or things like that in the sales department or day in lieu but now they have a flexibility um, it makes me wonder like where, where is this heading to I find this very interesting to know because now well I only can speak in Australia I can't speak for other countries but like you know, social work or social problems, whether it's mental health, domestic violence, homelessness, um, child protection, or etc. It's based on you know this corporate influence. By it's all about KPIs and stats and everything. But now I'm seeing the businesses is shifting to a different approach. It made me realize there may be a bit of hope in the future that within the industry I really wanted to work in, as I, as I mentioned before, were for the services like domestic violence, homelessness and migrants, or LGBT, indigenous, youth, family services. Um, even though I see them, there's a future. And I hope this sort of, um, this sort of culture, identity, does does get to spread out but I highly doubt in my industry I know I'm going a bit way off topic on this topic but I just like this approach but at the same time what what's your second job to secure your you know your living expenses now if you work three days a week maybe it's just enough to cover the rent and maybe just enough for a food or barely is enough and that means more people have to get second or third job to order to survive I think it's a it's a brilliant idea but at the same time is there that much jobs for everyone around so that's that's what I'm thinking about for this whole thing and I really like this new approach but there's always a downside at the same time so yeah, that's a pretty much just uh, dropping knowledge, decoding. Um, I'm not sure if this title is appropriate, maybe decoding knowledge. I think decoding knowledge would be the best uh, to start up. So we'll see how things go. So I maybe need to start some thumbnail on this photo videos and we'll see how things go. All right, so that's the video.